Hey, what's up? It's another episode of Watch You Strap In. These are not reviews, just a quick wish for us check of the day with uh, usually a new strap choice just to show the pairing, have some fun, and uh, just give you guys some ideas. Uh, just showing you something that I usually like or haven't tried before. And uh, yeah, anyways, uh, this is, of course, the Zen 103 Classic 12. Uh, it's a limited edition for their 60th anniversary. Lovely reverse panda dial. Sefi has some um, Hoya Octavia uh, flavor to it, but um, it's got its own uh, Zen vibe for sure. Just the way that the dial is done, and uh, definitely those syringe hands uh, are pretty uh, indicative of Zen. And uh, today, sorry about the exposure, just trying to get this balance right. Today is on another Haviston strap uh, server series and this is the, I always screw this one up, it's the M19, I want to say it's the 1943, I'll have it in the description. Sorry, I always get the mix, numbers mixed up. Um, I should know this off the top of my head by now. Since this is actually one of my favorite straps. And this is one of their latest iterations uh, of the A2, which is basically a single pass. I used to, they started off with a double, and I'm glad they went to single, because you don't really need that extra layer. Um, it's just, uh, just don't need it. And uh, they've changed up the tone of the, I guess the khaki and the green colors that you see here a bit over the years, uh, over the couple of versions, and this latest version is the enhanced one. I don't know, I think you have an option to get either this version that doesn't have like this sort of reinforced piece here that's uh, on the holes. Like, I don't believe it's real leather, it's like leatherette. Uh, I think it probably would get messed up if you got this wet, and th these straps should be gotten wet. Uh, without any issues and you can see the ends here also has a uh, uh, it's it's all nicely wrapped up and reinforced as well um, I kind of like the original version without it but I don't think there's that option anymore at least not in this 20 millimeter 20 millimeter width size uh, but you know I don't mind actually it kind of works it's got this it works with you know the, these earth tones so I'm all good with it nice hardware I prefer you have a choice, I believe, but I do prefer brush finish usually. And yeah, I'm, I'm kind of warming up to the idea of uh, this particular watch on uh, NATOs. I was reluctant and kind of against it at first. Not that I have anything against NATOs, as you know from probably my other watch, you uh, strap in and watch reviews or whatever. Uh, I, I definitely don't have an issue with NATO straps, but because of the particular thickness of this watch and the fact that the bottom has a display case back that has a domed uh, sapphire crystal as well, I figure it might ride a bit too high, but you know, it still sinks into the wrist enough. Yeah, of course you're gonna get a little bit more height off of it uh, inevitably because you just have that extra layer, but at least it's a single pass. And um, I think the more I wear it, let's try this out and and uh, get used to the uh, its visual presence and just the way it looks and feels, the more I get used to it. And I think that goes with a lot of watches, like something that's either you're smaller than you're used to or larger than you're used to. It might be a, a bit of a system shock when you look at it at first on wrists, like, whoa, this is too big, or this is, this is too dinky for my wrist, but give it a few days Maybe even a, you can give it a couple of weeks at least and I think your your whole eyesight and mindset will get acclimated to the to the new proportions uh, that you may have previously kind of shied away from or just didn't think could work. Uh, and uh, yeah, that's basically it. I think it works pretty well. This uh, I like this color and uh, you know with a pilot kind of military inspired pilot's watch um this obvious this theme ties in pretty well together anyways that's about it so um i will uh catch you on the next one yeah i'm doing this on the street so i got passerbys <laughs> talking anyways later